missed its mark here. Um, forgive me, I've uh, remade this video about four or five times now. Uh, it's kind of hard coming to terms that uh, I'm the oldest, palest, and fattest that I've ever been. Uh, I keep deleting it because I don't like the way I look, but I guess nothing's really going to fix that. So um, I just got home. It's now 1.14 in the afternoon, and I've been awake for over 24 hours. And it's not because I worked my overnight shift. Um, it's because we scheduled a dyno day um, today at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I had to be on the uh, polar opposite side of the Twin Cities to, to do that. And uh, anyway, um, it was like Christmas for me, and since I usually work till 7 a.m., uh, I just stayed up all night. And uh, so forgive me if I ramble here, I'm kind of delirious with being tired. But I did shoot some video footage and I'm gonna edit that together and it's gonna suck because I don't really make that good of videos. But I thought it'd be fun to play a little game um, about, uh, for those of you who do watch my videos, I'm gonna put that video together tonight, but I probably won't post it till tomorrow. So for any of you that stumble across this video now, um, post in the comments how much uh, horsepower and torque you think my engine is going to make at the dyno. I already know. Um, I've been there and then I have to say I'm pretty happy. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'll put the engine breakdown to the best of my knowledge in the video description. So take a look at the video description and uh, give me a guess of what you think the horsepower and torque are. I will let you know that um, based on a Hot Rod Magazine article that I read, I bought a very expensive two inch tapered Wilson spacer and my engine builder and the dyno guy kind of gave me a little bit of shit about that. Um, they thought it was pretty funny, you know, that I spent that much money on a, a spacer. They have seen results with spacers um, and the guy has all kinds of different varying range of spacers and uh, four hole, uh, one inch, two inch, you know, uh, three inch, you know, he could add as many spacers as he wants. Um, to get the dyno numbers that they do. Um, so I kind of jumped the gun and spent the big money on uh, the big spacer. and uh, But it did make a difference. So um, I'm going to go ahead and accept any guesses that are what it made baseline without the spacer. And as a bonus, uh, just try to guess how much power the spacer either made or uh, did not make, um, whether it made a difference or not. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. I'm, like I said, tired, delirious, and I'm going to post this video and looking forward to your guys' guesses. Oh, yeah, so this is just a little add-on to my last rant. There's not going to be any prizes, guys. I'm poor. I just bought a new truck. I had to buy a new garage door, and I'm engine poor. So uh, there's no prize other than you can say, Woo, I'm a genius. Um, so for all you uh, paper dyno guys out there, uh, looking forward to hear what you guess.